What's up everybody, welcome back to another This Week in Gaming. We will finally be able to change our PSN IDs. We're finally gonna be able to change our PlayStation ID. PlayStation will be testing this feature out with a beta with members who are part of the preview program. Now, if the feature gets accepted, which I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, it will finally be rolled out to everybody and you will be able to change your PlayStation ID once for free. And then if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you will have to pay $4.99 to change it again. Or if you're not a PlayStation Plus member, it will be $9.99. In terms of the timeline, it looks like the beta will end in November and then it'll roll out to everybody if it is accepted in early 2019. Now I know for a lot of people this is a big thing because they made their PlayStation ID when they were a lot younger and they're still on that same account and they made some crazy stupid IDs that they don't want anymore. I mean, for me, I don't mind my ID, so I'm probably not going to change it because I actually still like it and still enjoy using that as my PlayStation ID. But for a lot of people, like I said, this is a huge thing for them and it is just a good thing in general. Xbox has had this for a very long time. Obviously, when they made Xbox Live, they made it differently so that they had tied your account to a, a unique ID identifier that wasn't your actual gamer tag. And PlayStation is obviously changing the way that they're doing this so that it is more like the Xbox and this is awesome to hear and I can't wait until it is completely rolled out. In the comments below, let me know if you're excited about this and also let me know if you have a crazy PlayStation ID and what it is and what you'll be changing to. So that would be really funny to hear. If you remember back at E3, EA announced a mobile Command & Conquer game called Command & Conquer Rivals, which had a lot of backlash from the Command & Conquer community because they wanted another PC game, but instead they got this mobile game. Well, there's some good news for the Command & Conquer community. Jim Vasella on the Command & Conquer Reddit said that he's heard heard the fans, he's heard the outcry of getting another PC Command & Conquer game, and said that they're going to be working on something for the 25th anniversary. Now the 25th anniversary isn't until 2020, so it will still be a while until they actually release something or show something new that, that will be coming up for the PC. But he did say he will be listening to fan input over the next few weeks to see what they want, what they want remastered, which game that they would like to see on the PC again. So this is obviously great news if you're a fan of Command & Conquer, although this won't be coming out for another two years, but let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this if you've played the mobile game what do you think about the mobile game i would love to hear if you're looking to get a gamecube controller for the upcoming super smash brothers ultimate you may want to look at these wireless options that are officially licensed from nintendo made by power a now these are wireless controllers that are using bluetooth to work with the nintendo switch they won't include hd rumble i'm not sure if that means they won't include just like regular rumble they won't have ir and they won't have amiibo support but i mean you don't really need those things while playing super smash brothers but oddly enough they will have motion availability with these controllers so they are available for pre-order on the power a website and they will cost you 49.99 us dollars if you remember a couple of weeks ago playstation came out and said that they are finally going to have cross play with the PlayStation 4 and other consoles, specifically with Fortnite is what they will be starting with. It looks like Blizzard has come out and said now that they are working on crossplay for Diablo 3 between the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch. A Blizzard rep has spoken to Business Insider and said, it's not a matter of if crossplay will come out, it's a matter of when it will come out. And this is awesome because this game has been out since 2012. It's been out on so many different platforms and now you'll have the ability to play with your friends across all of these different platforms, especially if you just picked it up on the Nintendo Switch and all of your friends have it maybe on the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, you'll now be able to play this game with them. So this is really cool. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about this and if you will be picking this up on the Nintendo Switch now because of the crossplay. So that's your news. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, leave a comment down below about any of the things I talked about. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.